Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be presenting our second installment of our fall forecast. I have many updates to go over with you guys, so let's get straight into it in just a moment. Now, be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment down below because those two things help me out so much, and consider subscribing as you watch the video. Also, if you leave a like down below and comment your location in the comment section, I'm going to be responding to as many of those as possible and trying to give you guys a custom fall forecast for your specific location. So be sure to do that down below. First things first, we're taking a look here at our precipitation forecast. And as you can see, we are expecting below average precipitation here for a lot of the southeast, the southwest, especially there, and then even up through some of the northern plains. This does look very similar to our previous installment of our fall forecast, but I promise you there is a lot of differences here, and I'm going to break them down for you guys, actually. And I'll be pointing those out, by the way, just in case you don't notice right out of the gates. So that will be pretty clear. I'm going to make it as clear as possible where those differences are. Here, first off, this below normal precipitation is not as far north in the eastern half as it was before, uh, maybe not even in the western half either. Now let's just add a second layer here, and this one is certainly different. This is our kind of medium shade here of the below normal precipitation. And this one used to go all the way through to the southeast. Now it cuts off around Texas. So for the four corner states, California, Nevada, and Texas, I do expect below normal precipitation. But that is the end of it basically right there. Now we do have a third shade of this below normal precipitation as well, mostly just for Southern California there. And this is mostly due to the fact that there's not really going to be a southern jet. The southern jet is the one that brings storms onshore to California through the southern United States and up the east coast usually. Those are very specific to El Ninos and neutral Ensos typically. It does appear likely that we're going to be more in a La Nina pattern here, especially for the fall. It could taper off a little bit as we head into the winter, and that's why I think we could have a neutral Enso winter. But it seems like this La Nina is going to peak at some point during the fall, potentially. That is what I'm eyeballing the possibility for. Now, let's just move right on and take a look at some of these above normal precipitation anomalies here. And I, I expect especially here for two regions, but this one is for the eastern half of the country, mostly for the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, and a bit of the interior northeastern United States. This is very typical in a La Nina to have this region seeing some storminess here. Also, the lakes could be kind of active as we head towards November. It isn't impossible to see some lake effect snowfall. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. We've seen some of our biggest lake effect events actually in November and December, but sometimes November as well, which is obviously a fall month. So we're going to be watching for that possibility as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and there's one more above average precipitation region we need to go over and then we're going to get right into that temperature forecast in just a moment. Now I quickly wanted to remind you guys that we uploaded first off our kind of when do you expect your first snowfall video yesterday so you can check that one out but also our second installment of our winter forecast that was two days ago as well. So I recommend you check both of those out. We have a playlist available on our homepage on our channel. So if you click on our channel after you're done watching this video, you will see those two videos literally right below our most recent upload. So it's going to be right there for you guys to watch. I also have a sticker up there on the top right corner of one of those two videos for you to check out right now as well. So be sure to do so. Let's take a look at that second above average precipitation region. And as you can see, this one is for the Pacific Northwest. Now, in a, in a La Nina and in a neutral Enso, so we're looking at a high probability here, we usually see above average precipitation here for the northwestern United States. So I do expect that to be the case here for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. Some of those regions do see snowfall throughout the fall months, so this will have some snowfall implications for sure. And we even have a medium shade of this here where we expect moderately above average precipitation to be possible here for Washington and Oregon, uh, and that is you know, pretty typical in a La Nina, like I said before, even in a neutral Enso. So I'm looking at a high confidence situation there with that. I would be actually shocked if we had below normal precipitation for that region. Now let's go ahead and move on to that exciting temperature forecast, because I'm sure most of you are wondering what these temperatures are going to look like this upcoming fall. And this has been changed quite a bit as well. First things first, we're taking a look at some above average temperatures here for a little bit of southern Texas there, but also the eastern seaboard. From Florida to Maine, I do expect some slightly above average temperatures. 
Now, with this being in, in kind of the slightly above average temperatures, you can expect that probably, I would say, about two of the three months will be mostly above normal temperatures, but you can expect about one to one and a half of the months this upcoming fall to possibly feature some below normal temperatures. It won't be above average the whole time. You're only in the first shade, which means it's kind of only going to be slightly above average. You might not even notice it in some of these regions. Now we have another orange region here, and this one is for the Southwest, California, Nevada, Utah, and then even Arizona as well. I expect above normal temperatures here. Now we even have a moderate shade of this here for the West Coast, California, Nevada, and a bit of Arizona. I expect moderately above average temperatures there, and that is why I'm indicating that with that orange region. Now what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to move on and take a look at where those below normal temperatures could be, and I do expect a lot of those below normal temperatures this upcoming fall. And then we're going to take a look at that exciting overall forecast as well. All of those things are coming up in just a moment. Now here is our below average temperature region and as you can see it's very large it extends there from Washington, Idaho, Montana and then just blasts down into the central United States, a lot of the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest and a lot of the Great Plains. This might look pretty similar to our winter forecast temperature map and that's because it actually is and usually we see a pattern setting up in the fall that eventually progresses to what the winter pattern ends up being. So this should look and resemble a little bit of that winter forecast that likely means that they match up really well uh, and accurately and that is what I'm mostly going for. I think that trough is going to be mostly centered over the central United States for the fall time as you can see with two ridges on the coast. We've seen this pattern a lot in the past but I do think this will eventually shift its way eastward as we head towards the winter time. Now we even have a moderate shade of that below normal temperatures here and as you can see it's for the same regions, just a little bit further, you know, in the middle of it, obviously. This is where we expect some higher confidence of some below normal temperatures. And then we even have a third shade here for the upper Midwest, a lot of the plains, and some of the Rockies as well. And that's where we're even more confident, and we think it'll be even colder. Now, here is our exciting overall forecast for the fall of 2021. By the way, I do expect to possibly make one more installment of this if I need to do so right before September starts. Meteorological fall starts on September 1st and it ends on December 1st. So we see all of September, October, and November is meteorological fall. And over here on direct weather, that is what we forecast for. So we're not forecasting from like the 21st of September to the 21st of December. No, it's September 1st to December 1st here is our fall time in the weather world. And it ref the you get fall weather mostly on September 1st to December 1st anyway. And then December 1st is kind of winter winter weather. So for it makes more sense for a weather forecast anyway. Now we're going to start out in the northwest up here. Stormy and cold, or sorry, cool, not cold yet, is what I expect for this region in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. Typical snow there for the mountains. Obviously these mountainous regions see snowfall from time to time throughout the fall time progressing towards October November they see more and more and more of that now we do expect some dry conditions for the southwest and then even inside of that we see hot and dry for that darker brown region where I expect there to be some hot temperatures set up from time to time especially earlier on obviously dry and cool here for this region in Texas and New Mexico we see Arctic blasts up there for that pink region. I do expect some colder than normal conditions, like I said before, with some potential Arctic blasts. Much colder in this purple region, much colder than normal, that is. Lake effect late, which basically means lake effect snow later in the season, potentially. We'll be watching for that possibility in November, like I said before. Frequent storms here in this green region. Uh, even though they're going to have below normal uh, precipitation, I do expect there to be storms still. Some nor'easters will be set up. We see watching the tropics here for this red region, obviously, as we're in September and October especially, but even November, we're going to be watching the tropics for some tropical storms, tropical depressions, and even hurricanes here along the eastern and gulf coasts uh, because this time of year we need to watch for it. And then we see cooler temperatures up there for that lighter blue region for the northeast and portions of the mid-Atlantic. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we're at a 4 out of 6. We're getting really close to the fall time. We're only about a month away or less from meteorological fall. We're getting very, very close, so we feel more confident in that. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys... Well, I didn't ask you anything, actually, because I've skipped the comment of the day 
uh, two days in a row. I've just been picking a random one. Gaming Seek said, I've been a fan for a very long time. Great videos. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it a lot, guys. I'm going to be picking a random comment again today, so comment something and I might pick it, guys. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Bennett, James Wade, Dobie Nagel, Little the Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalasa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flego, Gary, John Khaleesi, Dwight Feeglin, and Stephen Cronenthal. If you would like to be on this patron and screen today, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1 and Catbite as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.